if I think more personally about the last 20 years, for me, the biggest change has been just the fact that a lot of people in my life, from you know my hairdresser to my grandmother, are willing and understand food issues in a way that they didn't before. They connect their life to what I do. The most important thing for rural communities is that they hold on to a greater share of the economic benefits of agriculture. For rural communities to really thrive, we need a different model for agriculture that is, does a better job of capturing capital locally and circulating that capital locally. I just appreciate that the Global Donor Platform is the place where the conversation can happen, which is crucial. Just allowing people to meet each other and know one another is already a soft part of helping the coordination to come about. For a lot of history, rural areas and food production have been the safety net for people who didn't rely on the state. One of the oldest classic ways is to have land or to have a place in a rural community to go back to where you can get food. And I, I think we could be persuading both investors in the private and public philanthropy world and governments that investment in that resilience, investment in people's access to a healthy food producing land base is, is, is the way ahead of us.